Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to learn AR kit face tracking, right? Open Blender. Kill the cube. Import Mr. Baldy. In green triangle menu. Shape keys. Copy the name Brow Inner Up and check what it looks like. Don't worry, it'll make sense soon. Now select your model. Green triangle menu. Add a shape key. Ignore all this stuff. I think she used to dance. If basis pops up, add another shape key. The basis is the original model, so remember, do not select it. Always keep in mind which shape key you've selected. If you select the wrong key, you're in for a bad time. Rename the new shape key, Brow Inner Up. Time to make the expression. Edit the mesh and follow Mr. Baldi. Use proportional editing and toggle connected only here and there for optimal facelift results. Great! Now we gotta do this for all 52 shape keys. Oh yeah, it's a pain. But no one gets into ventriloquism for the adrenaline. Once you have all 52, the next step is crucial. Make sure the blend shape names are correct. A list of correct names are linked below. And unfortunately, Mr. Baldi's defaults are incorrect. So we gotta rename the L's and R's to left and right. Thanks, Mr. Baldi. We can delete them now. Remember to check all the blend shapes one last time. If you muck up here, Unity will absolutely destroy you. Export the model and armature as an FBX. Good work! Although we're halfway there, the pain has only begun. You say hi to Unity. One wrong step and everything is ruined. Right click in projects to add custom packages. We'll need Uni VRM, BSF SDK, and Poyomi. Links below. After the packages are in, import our FBX. Select the FBX. Model. Check legacy blend shapes. Apply. Rig. Humanoid. Apply. Press configure. Head. Anime doesn't have eye bones or jaw bones, so remove everything in left eye, right eye, and jaw. Scroll down, done, and apply. Next up, materials. Extract materials. Give them a new home in the assets folder. If they're happy with their housing arrangement, they should auto fill the slots here. If you can extract textures, do that too, or import them manually. Now drag your model into the hierarchy. Finally, reunite the textures with their materials to create some bad CG! It's, it's temporary, I promise. Okay, now we convert it to a VRM. Select the model in the hierarchy. Go to VRM, export uni VRM. Press make t-pose and fill out the metadata. Press export and export it into a new VRM file under assets. Once that's done, hide the old FBX. Go into the new file and drag the VRM into the hierarchy. Rename her. She'll be an entirely new person 10 seconds later. In your new VRM folder, go to Materials. Select your material and change it to Poyomi. Bad CG! Eradicated. Poyomi is great. Only one last thing left. The actual face tracking part. Double click Blend Shape to go to the Blend Shape menu. And create 52 Blend Shape clips. It's the last thing, I promise. Drag the preview window out and convert to floating window. Press Create Blend Shape Clip. Make sure it's the exact same name as the blend shapes we made in Blender. Open the drop down menu and drag the blend shape we want to 100. You know the drill. Repeat 25 times. It's the final stretch. Done? Select the VRM model in the hierarchy and go to VSF SDK and export avatar bundle to wherever you please. Congrats! Unlike a standard VRM, a VSF model can have custom shaders, cloth physics, animations, and a bunch of other stuff but that's for future tutorials. Face tracking. We're nearly there. Focus. Buy an iPhone X or above. The old ones get hot, but the new ones are expensive. Second hand is good. We just want the fancy camera. Make sure your iPhone is on the same network as your PC. On your phone, get the app iFacial Mocap. Hey look, it's Mr. Baldy. Take note of the IP address at the top. We'll need it later. On your PC, download and open VC Face. Fill in the camera settings with whatever. We got the fancy cam. Add avatar. Select our VSF and start. Go to settings. General settings. Scroll down and check iPhone AR kit tracking receiver. Type in the IP from your phone. If you're lucky, the phone will flash green and ta-da! You're anime now. You may now begin your ventriloqui- I mean VTuber dreams. As for the poor sods who only saw green but got no tracking. Whew. Go to Windows settings. Update and security. Windows security. 
Firewall and Network Protection, Advanced Settings, Inbound Rules, New Rule, Program, Next, Browse for vcface.exe, Next, Allow the Connection, Next, Next, uh, vcface, vcface, finish. Huh. Go back to vcface. It should work now, hopefully. Worth it though. The tracking is way better than standard visines. You can even tweak the blend shapes to get even better results. And now you know how to make AR kit tracking. Oh, Mr. Baldy would appreciate new AR kit users. He loves new faces. He's harmless. Mostly. Run.